Good morning, dear brothers and sisters, and a blessed Sabbath day to each and every one. And may the grace and the love of the Father in Jesus Christ be with us all. And uh, may God continue to protect us in this time of crisis, and may he also motivate and uh, inspire us with our meditation from the Bible on this holy day. Thank you also for the song rendered by Sister Chit and uh, how Jesus Christ will lift up, especially in times of trials and persecutions. And may the good Lord always, always guide us and lead us into life everlasting. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat mga minamal na kapatid at uh, maligayang Sabado. Nawa ang biyay at pag-ibig at kapayapaan ng Diyos mula sa langit na siyang sumaatin. And I would like to greet also all our participants from different parts of the world and here in Zoom and in the Facebook Live from Korea, from Japan, Australia, New Zealand, from India, from Sri Lanka, and also from the Philippines. And uh, may God give us a heavenly understanding or this uh, lesson that we will uh, study so that we will all be blessed. And I would like to share screen. And our topic for today is entitled The Peril of Neglect. I would like to read once again our Scripture reading found in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, ye shall never fall. So this is a Bible verse that we will dig on and meditate, and let us all receive the blessings from the Lord. So this Bible verse is telling us to make sure for our calling and election. And we need also to prepare everything because God already prepared uh, the life eternal or the heavenly mansions for us. And it is now our part to do that uh, obedience in his uh, commandments and also by faith, doing the things that are righteous and also overcoming every temptation that will be hurled by us, by our enemy, and especially ourselves, we need to conquer ourselves. So, sinasabi po ng talata na kailangan po nating piyakin ang ating pagkahirang. At ito ay uh, isang inspirasyon uh, para sa atin at pag-aaral upang tayo po ay uh, magmana ng buhay na walang hanggan. By definition, peril means o oh, o oh, oh, Rather, uh, by definition, we need to meditate on these uh, two uh, definitions of this uh, study, to give little attention or respect to or disregard. And the second uh, definition is to live and then or attended or to especially through carelessness. So we need to uh, accept the invitation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He gave us everything and he even is a dear life so that we will all be saved. Now it is our part to give more attention and give respect and do not disregard this election and also on how to always be uh, careful and attending to all the instructions that he, have, he has given us. So ang um, kanya pong pinaka uh, kapakahulugan na uh, bigyan, uh, wag nating paintulutan na uh, baliwalain, bigyan ng maliit na bagay lamang ang kaligtasan. Uh, so neglect is very clear that it is a disregard and a, 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 a carelessness of the uh, of the heavenly prize that God has already prepared for us even uh, before the foundation of the world. So if we continue to neglect the this uh, plan of salvation, if we continue to neglect the invitation, one thing for sure, we will all be 
sorry in the in this life and also in the in the judgment that we will all be uh, uh, that God prepared. So we have two judgments or two rewards: the ever the eternal life or the everlasting life, and the eternal damnation. But before that eternal damnation, of course, there is a lake of fire that is waiting for those wicked and who neglected the the plan of salvation and the invitation of our Lord Jesus Christ. So sa mga pid, pag sinabi pong pag uh, uh, anyaya ng ating Panginoon, wag natin pa intulutan na baliwalain ang neglect o pagpapa uh, walang bisa, walang kahulugan sa kamatayan o sa ni Kristo o maging ang kaligtasan na pinagkalob niya po sa bawat isa sa atin. So let us continue with this uh, salvation place within reach of uh, every human being. So it is, a God is not a respecter of person. So salvation is for all the human race. And Christ died for all of us and not for the Jews, not only for Israel, but for every human being. In the Christ Triumphant, page 206, we read, here is our life assurance policy written in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. Here we have the directions laid down as to how we shall secure the life that measures with the life of God. Many profess the religion of Jesus Christ, but they do not live it. What is their profession good for? They might just as well trace their name in the sand and how long would it stand? So this is a reminder for each and every one of us, a warning that uh, we may profess the religion of Jesus Christ, but how do we perform? How do we act? How we do uh, live it according to the light and knowledge that we receive from uh, God? So ito po ang sinasabi ng patutuo na ang kaligtasan ay ibinigay sa lahat ng sangkatauhan. Ang magiging katanungan ay tayong nag, uh, nag uh, angkin na kristyano ay paano natin ito may sa kabuhayan. At ang pag-aangkin ay walang kabuluhan ay para lang po itong uh, pangalan subalit hindi po ito nakikita sa tunay na buhay. Uh, we will continue with the first Thessalonians. If uh, Peter uh, wrote the first uh, Bible verse that we read, then now we will hear from uh, Paul, the apostle. And he wrote in first Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 4, Knowing, brethren beloved, your election of God. So it is written in the Bible that we need to know, we need to understand, we need to cherish and treasure that we are elected by God for eternal life. And in this way, we must cherish and ponder more of the things that are heavenly, especially how God elected each and every one of us. So sinasabi po dito, kailangan natin alamin, mga minamal na kapatid, ang paghirang sa atin ng ating Diyos. So ano yung kabuluhan, kahulugan ng paghirang sa atin? So the, the, the treasure of knowing the, how, on how God elected us is really uh, essential, a very important element for our salvation and in uh, uh, motivating us to uh, to uh, follow more of his instructions and also to walk with him until we reach uh, the heavenly mansions that he prepared for each and every one of us. Election price paid for all. Letter 53, 1904. There could be no such thing as one not prepared for heaven entering heaven. There is no such thing as a human being sanctified and fitted for the heavenly kingdom, not having an election to that kingdom. So that is the point that we are already, we were already elected. That is why we need to be sanctified and fitted for the heavenly kingdom. So that is one way God is showing us how he loves us so much that he wants us all, the, the whole human race to be saved. Then God elects those who have been working on the plan of addition. So the plan of addition will be seen and explained in the first chapter of 2 Peter, verses 5 and 7. That is, faith was given to us, and this is what we call the Christian ladder. And uh, faith is, was given to us, uh, add to faith, virtue, add to virtue, knowledge, add to knowledge, temperance, as add to temperance, uh, patience, patience, godliness, godliness, uh, brotherly love, and the last uh, step, of course, is 
charity. So God works in the plan of addition. So we need always to uh, go higher and higher to this Christian ladder until we reach the charity that God prepared for us. And in this way, we will more appreciate his goodness and his sacrifice, especially in sending his only begotten son in this world. Kaya sinasabi po dito ay uh, walang tinatawag na uh, makakarating sa langit na hindi naghanda. Walang uh, magiging angkop doon sa langit na hindi hinirang ng ating Diyos. Kaya ang gusto ng Diyos tayo matuto po ng addition o pagdagdag. Ito po yung tinatawag na Christian ladder sa 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 5 and 7. The explanation is given very clear in that uh, Bible verses, in those Bible verses. For every human being, Christ has paid the election price. No one need be lost. All have been redeemed. To those who receive Christ as a personal Savior will be given power to become the sons and daughters of God. So it is clear that God will give us the power. And he has already adopted us as his sons and daughters. And in other words, he prepared everything for our uh, for our benefit, for our advantage, even in the time of trial or in the time of persecution that will be laid upon our uh, uh, our enemy, uh, Satan. So an um, eternal life insurance policy has been provided for all. Again, an eternal life insurance policy in Jesus Christ. That is the that is the essence of the death of our Lord Jesus Christ that he wants us always to cherish and treasure and meditate upon so that we will be more motivated and encouraged to follow his footsteps because he loves us so much. Kaya ang pagkahirang ay ito po inihanda na at ito'y sa pamamagitan ng kamatayan ng ating Painuso Kristo at ng kanyang dakilang pag-ibig. And uh, in letter 53, continued, whom God elects, Christ redeems. So election is very important for our redemption. And in uh, believing in him, in accepting his invitation, in uh, following his commandments and submitting you wholly uh, with, uh, under his authority, and that will be uh, the most important part of our uh, election, which is a part of our also our redemption. So the Savior has paid the redemption price for every soul. We are not our own, therefore we are bought with a price for the Redeemer who from the foundation of the world has chosen us. We receive the insurance policy that entitles us to eternal life. So this is the greatest insurance policy. And of course, insurance, life insurance in this world is a very defective and not actually sure. But if we will ponder more about this insurance policy that the Jesus Christ prepared for each and every one of us, with uh, at the end of this history, Earth's history is telling us that we will um, in inherit eternal life, then we need to be uh, serious and give more time in this matter because it involves death or life. Kaya dito makikita natin, ang hinirang ng Diyos ay ay uh, ililigtas ng ating Panginoon. Kaya binayaran na lahat ng ating Panginoon niya, tayo po ay tinubos sa halaga, at ganun din, ay, tayo ay kanyang pinili, hinirang sa muli, at binigyan tayo na tinatawag na insurance policy na ang kanyang kawakasan ay buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya tayo po ay uh, magpapatuloy. So Philippians chapter 2, verse 12, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So we will uh, ponder more on the last part of this Bible verse, telling us to work our own salvation with fear and trembling. Why the Bible verse used the term fear and trembling? So let us ponder on this Bible verse. Fear and trembling. Christ of Jack Lesson, page 161, Paul is not advocating a slavish terror in using the word fear and trembling, but a wholesome self-distrust. So when the Bible speaks about fear and trembling, it is self-distrust, not trusting in ourselves, but trusting in the power, love, mercy of God. The Christian should fear lest his will not be continually surrendered to Christ 
or lest the carnal traits of character should control the life. He must fear to trust his own strength, to withdraw his hand from the hand of Christ, or to attempt to walk the Christian pathway alone. So this is a very clear definition of fear and trembling on how God wants us to uh, understand this uh, Bible verse that we need to surrender fully our life and not a part, 99% is not enough. It should be 100%, otherwise 1% will work against our salvation. And we need to overcome our uh, nature, our carnal traits by the power that God has bestowed upon us in Jesus Christ. So makikita natin dito ang fear and trembling. Ang pagkatakot at panginginig ay nangangulugan na huwag magtiwala sa atin pong sarili. Labanan natin ang ating mga kahinaan sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan na binigay ng ating Panginoon, magpasakop po tayo ng lubusan. At alalahanin natin, kailangan natin lumakad na kasama si Kristo sa buhay nating Kristiyano. So again, fear and trembling is uh, a reverence uh, in the name of the Lord and also a self-distrust in that way we will trust more in His holy name and His power. And your own salvation, uh, salvation is individual. Although we read in the Bible several or uh, Bible verses that uh, when uh, the Father we believe, believe the whole household will be saved. But uh, the Bible is also telling us uh, specifically that uh, salvation is individual. So we read, Paul was not present to help the Philippian believers personally. They had to care for their own spiritual needs. So when we were given Bible studies and when we received the a baptism and now we are a member of the church, God provided everything. So we need to work our own salvation. So salvation is an individual matter. No human friend, no pastor, not even an apostle can work it out for another. It is non-transferable. It is an individual working with fear and trembling that we will uh, uh, we will obtain salvation. So in Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 20, we read, Though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, the land, referring to the land, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. So this is very clear that salvation is individual. There may be some agencies or instruments that God will use to let us know the truth and also the way on how we will um, obtain uh, salvation because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And in this way, we, they may also give us the structure of the proper and correct structure of Bible studies and so that we will understand fully the will of God and yet, it is an individual struggle towards salvation that will be accepted by God for this is what the Bible is telling us. So maaring gumamit ng instrumento ang ating Panginoon upang malaman natin ang katotohanan, pero ang kaligtasan ay kanya-kanya po, individual. No? Sariling kaligtasan. Hindi tayo pwedeng magligtas pa ng ibang tao dahil ang Diyos lamang ang siyang tanging tagapagligtas. There is only one Savior. It, was, it is Jesus Christ. No pastor, no apostle, not any, even a human friend will save us. It is only Jesus Christ and we need to do our part. Humanity and divinity in combination will give us salvation. In Christ's triumph at page 206, we read, Nothing is withheld that pertains unto life and godliness. So everything was provided through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. So knowledge is important because we need to know exactly the characteristics of our Lord Jesus Christ. We study his life, his works, and also all the things that pertain to our salvation. And yet, we need also to apply every knowledge that we learn from him. And then the rich promise is that we shall be partakers of the divine nature. That is the purpose of God giving us the knowledge so that this divine nature will also be manifested in our daily life in which in this way we will uh, also be a cloth in the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ which we obtain by faith. 
And this means everything to us to be a partaker of the divine nature. This is what Jesus Christ proved in this world when he lived a simple life, a, a, a life of a son of a poor carpenter. And yet with this poor uh, living, he showed us how to become rich in the kingdom of God. At dito po makikita natin ay uh, itagkaloob na lahat ng ating Diyos. Lahat ang kaalaman at uh, papano natin siya ay makilalang mabuti. Kaya ang kaalaman, kailangan nito yung may sa kabuhayan uh, upang tayo po ang pinakalayunin ng kaalaman ay makita sa atin ng ugali ng ating Panuso Kristo na siyang kinakailangan para sa ating kaligtasan. Uh, we continue what victory should we gain in this lifetime if Christ had not overcome point after point for us in the wilderness of temptation. So we always study and uh, meditate on the uh, temptation of our Lord Jesus Christ because these are the same temptations or main uh, uh, temptations that uh, will also be, uh, uh, be, we will be passing through as uh, disciples or followers of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here the enemy met him with the three great leading temptations. So wherewith we are beset. So you always hear from me these three leading or three great leading temptations in Matthew chapter 4 and Luke chapter 4. These are the, uh, the point of appetite, the point of presumption, and also the riches of the world. And these are the three great leading temptations that also uh, the enemy will use against us so that we will not ma uh, uh, set our affection on the things that are heavenly. Instead, we will be more engaged in the things that are earthly. But we know very well that the Bible is telling us all in this world will perish will be cleansed by fire so there is no uh, no gain in us if we continue to gather treasures of this world kaya makikita po natin dito tatlong pangunahing tukso ni satanas sa ating penuso kristo sa ilang ay ang pagkain o panlasa ang yung tinatawag po na uh, kapalaluan o kaya po ay uh, presumption at, uh, at ganun din po yung uh, tinatawag din po na kayamanan ng sanlibutan. No? Kaya maging maingat po tayo sa mga bagay na ito. So Christ had instituted and framed the plan himself that with humanity upon him, he was to bear every temptation wherewith men and women are beset. So God gave us uh, the best example in Jesus Christ when he lived a... Uh, a poor life in this world, and yet he was able to uh, overcome every temptation. He was tempted in all points, and yet he did not sin. And that is the best pattern and the best example that God gave upon us so that we will uh, uh, follow his footsteps. And in this way, we will also overcome, of course, by faith, by submission, by obedience, and by the power that he prepared for each and every one that will accept him as his personal savior and redeemer. So makikita natin dito ay binalangkas na ng ating Panginoon ng lahat para sa ating kaligtasan. At paano tayo managumpay sa bawat tukso na ibibigay ng kaaway sa atin bilang mga tao. Kaya yan po ay kanyang hinarap dyan po sa hilang. Yan din ang mga pagsubok na ating nararanasan sa akat sa lukuyan upang madalisay po yung atin ding mga ugali at lalong higit mapanagumpayan po ang bagay na lumilipas. Election within our wits. There is the election of God on the condition of practice. So whenever God will have a promise, there is always a corresponding test. And the, the test, of course, of being elected is on how we apply, on how we act, and how we uh, use a practical application of this election in our daily life as Christians or professed Christians. And there is no other election in the Bible. So again, what we know, what we earn from the Bible, what we obtain of this knowledge, we need to apply it in our everyday life from our, our family, in the community, and also in the church, and most of all, in the sight of God. Election is within our reach. If you do these things, ye shall never fall. So that is what is written in the Bible and the testimony. So if we keep on passing through that uh, climbing and that Christian ladder and we, we will end in the charity and then 
we will never fall in spite of the fact that the enemy will uh, do wonders to deceive even the very elect and he will, he will always uh, be ready to allure us from all the, the, the riches of this world and yet God is gave us an insurance, gave us the assurance for eternal life. We keep on following his footsteps, the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ. And let us cherish and treasure this election that comes from God. Kaya pagyamanin po natin, ang pagkahirang po natin, at alalahanin natin ang kaalaman ay kailangan may sakabuhayan upang po ay ating makamtan ang kaligtasan. In Hebrews chapter 3, verse 14, we read, For we are made partakers of Christ, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. So the race is not for the sweep. The race is for those who are long-suffering, patient, and steadfast until the end. Ang paligsaan po, hindi sa mga mabibilis, malalakas, kundi ang ang makapag is hanggang sa wakas ang siyang maliligtas. Yung ating pagtitiwala sa ating Panginoon. So again, we are partakers of Christ. Benefits secured by the elect. It depends upon our, your course of action as to whether or not you will secure the benefits bestowed upon those who, as the elect of God, receive an eternal life insurance policy. So, this is uh, compared to the life insurance of this world. Of course, as Christians, uh, we are not uh, encouraged to apply for life insurance of this world because the moment we die, we are not the beneficiary, but our families. But the life insurance policy of uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, even if we die in this world, and yet we will benefit of this insurance because it will result in eternal life. So let us continue the best life insurance. In Review and Herald, May 26, 1904, here are your life insurance papers. This is not an insurance policy, the value of which someone else will receive after your death. It is a policy that assures you a life measuring with the life of God, even eternal life. So again, this is the true and best life insurance all the life insurance in this world are nothing compared to this uh life insurance in jesus christ so it is a policy that assures us of life eternal so even life eternal oh what an assurance what a hope we cannot afford to allow anything to separate us from god and heaven and in this life, we must be partakers of the divine nature. We cannot uh, be uh, present or fitted in the uh, uh, heavenly mansions, in the heavenly kingdom or heavenly courts if we are not, div uh, uh, if we do not experience divinity or the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ in this world. To be saints in heaven, we must be saints here on earth. In this life, we must be partakers, again, of his divine nature. That is what uh, Jesus Christ showed us, divinity and humanity. And brethren, sisters, you have only one life to live. Or let it be a life of virtue, a life hid with Christ in God. So this is, again, an, uh, very, uh, a very important uh, uh, counsel from the inspired pen that we need to know that there is only one life to live. And again, we need to make the most out of it for this is uh, what God wants us, that we will be saved. So let us live our life, the only life that we will ever have in this world in Christ. And that is the best uh, way that we will over our life to him. So again, the best life insurance is even if we will die in this world and yet we will uh, we will receive the benefits in the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ if we will remain faithful and steadfast until the end. That is the eternal life. Compared to the life insurance of this world, only those who will remain living will receive the benefits. So let us learn from this comparison of the life insurance of God from God and the life insurance of this world. In John chapter 20, verse 31, but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life 
through his name. That is why faith is essential for our uh, salvation. And of course, by believing, it means to say that applying the life of our Lord Jesus Christ in our daily life, in that way, we will be changed from glory to glory until we reach perfection that is required by God to, to meet him in the life eternal. At sinasabi po dito, ang paniniwala natin sa ating Panuso Kristo bilang anak ng Diyos at sa pamamagitan ng kanyang pangalan, ito rin po ang mag-uudyok sa atin na magpasakop, sumunod sa lahat ng mga palatuntunan na ihayag sa atin. And uh, uh, this is um, written in Review and Herald, April 30, 1889, Act the Faith We Have. So the faith we receive and how do we act or how do we apply this belief that uh, God has given us through the Bible and testimonies. So we shall act out all the faith we have. All the faith we have. We must educate ourselves to talk faith and prepare for the future life. What earnest efforts men make to obtain a lawful title to their land. So again, this is a comparison of uh, uh, owning a, a lot or a title, a land title on, on this world. So we will, we will see how to obtain a lawful title to this, to this land. So the, uh, to their land, this is a comparison of how we should prepare and uh, how to uh, uh, claim all the benefits of being a Christian or a son and a daughter of God. They must have deeds that will stand the test of law. So these are the documents. Kailangan daw po ng mga dokumento upang mapatunayan sa batas na tayo ang nagmamayari ng lupa na ito. The processor is never satisfied unless he is confident that there is no flaw in his title. Or that men were as earnest to obtain a title to their heavenly possessions that would stand the test of law. In this world, if you are only holding the paper or the documents as you have the right to own a property, a man of this world will not stop until they will obtain the lawful testament that they are the sole winner of this uh, property. So this is compared to our salvation that we will not stop when we receive the right. When we receive the election or the calling to be saved, and yet we need to have the title, and that title is how we will be converted daily in our Lord Jesus Christ, and that Jesus Christ character will be will be reflected in our life. So all that men were as earnest to obtain a title. So we need to be earnest, zealous in everything so that we will obtain this title as a part of our passport to heaven, which is the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the, the apostle exhorts the follower of Christ to give diligence to make his calling and election sure. There must be no error, no flaw in your claim to immortality. In this world, you may have the privilege or even the knowledge on how to uh, make uh, this property or a title of your own, even if you are uh, not the, the true owner of this property. You may go to an office and then he will help you how to, how to make fraud or even uh, uh, teach you how to do errors or, or, or uh, uh, in a wrong way that you will obtain this property. And yet, we, when we compare this with the, uh, the, the heavenly things, it is not so. We need always to be fearful. Uh, we need always to be true. We need always to be obedient, submissive. And most of all, we need to follow every instruction that God has given us through the scriptures. So in this way, we will have no error there will be no flow there will be no fraud because nothing uh, that is nothing that is fraudulent will enter the kingdom of god no flow will enter the kingdom of god no sin any form of sin will enter the kingdom of god so in this way we need to learn from this testimony that we need to be true uh, in our profession and we always need to reflect the character of our lord jesus christ so says the Savior, blessed are they that do his commandments, 
that is uh, the fruit of our faith that we follow is do his commandments because of love and not because of fear and that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter into the gates into the city revelation 22 verse 14 uh, a quoted so even in the last book of the bible in revelation in the last chapter actually in revelation chapter 22 we will understand the instruction only those who have the faith in Jesus Christ and we will keep his commandments may have access to the tree of life, which will give immortality for every person that will be uh, eating on the tree of life or the fruit of the tree of life. And then they will have also the privilege to enter to the gates of the city, which is the new Jerusalem, the capital of the new earth. So these are our very essential uh words of encouragement for us so we need to talk faith we need to, to to walk faith we need to prepare for the future life Agandahan po natin yan dahil ito po ang katiyakan po natin while we are weak and inefficient volume 9 page 187 why are many of us so weak and inefficient it is because we look to self we look more of ourselves instead of looking to our Lord, studying our own temperaments and wondering how we can make a place for ourselves, our individuality, and our peculiarities in the place of studying Christ and his character. So we are selfish by nature, and yet even if we profess as Christians and followers of our Lord Jesus Christ, we keep on studying ourselves instead of studying the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. We look so much at dearly to ourselves. We want to acquire everything in this world, knowing that everything in this world will perish too by uh, the cleansing of the fire up from the Lord. And yet we keep on doing our, uh, uh, obtaining our righteousness by our own works, which is impossible to enter the kingdom of God. It is the righteousness of Christ which will be accepted and not our righteousness. So let us not waste time in looking to self, in, in studying our temperaments, in uh, or wondering how we can dress ourselves, how we can own uh, uh, properties or material things in this world. Instead, uh, God has already prepared the most uh, precious kingdom or place in this universe and that is the heavenly kingdom which we will be walking in the streets of gold and we will be entering in that new jerusalem the temple of god and in these 12 gates there are precious stones that we have never maybe we have never seen in this world because these are already prepared so let us uh, give more time in meditating in these things so we are weak because and efficient, inefficient because we look too much to ourselves. We are too selfish. And that is why God wants us to learn that he is God and yet he gave his only begotten son for our salvation. He can create another man and yet because of his love, he gave his only begotten, begotten son to die on our stead. So this is a great lesson for us to ponder. So dear brothers and sisters, let us study more in Jesus Christ instead of ourselves. Kaya yan po ang nangyayari, bakit mahina tayo at hindi po magkakaroon ng kapangyarihan ng pagiging Kristiyano dahil masyado tayong tumitingin sa ating sarili, yung ating gusto at lamang natin, yun ang ating pinapanalangin, yun ang ating inihiling sa Panginoon na magmana dito sa lupa samantalang kailangan manahin ng mga bagay na makalangit. So... Make our calling and election sure. We must pray. How to make our calling and election sure? Again, we must pray. We must study the scriptures. We must believe and obey the word of God. We must make use of every opportunity and privilege God give us, gives us that we may make our call, calling and election sure. So everything is provided even the 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 way that we will uh, make our calling election sure as it was already mentioned dear brothers and sisters faith is provided everything was provided in the christian ladder so let us do our part in praying studying the scriptures in believing and obeying this word and also we make use of every time every golden opportunity that god has given us 
that we will all be saved. We are to be laborers together with God. So that is another part of our election and another part of our salvation. We need to work together with him. We need to look for souls and bring them at the feet of Jesus. We need to spread the good news. And that is the greatest commission written in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. And then, for he will not complete his work without the human cooperation. So that is the best plan that God has given us, knowing that he can save humanity through his only begotten son, through his angels. And yet he wants uh, the, uh, his co-laborers, co-workers, in human beings, that is you and me, dear brothers and sisters, so that people will know, uh, in spite of our evil uh, or uh, wickedness, our evil nature, our sinfulness, there is a God that will convert us from glory to glory in the righteousness of his son, that we will be perfect in his due time, in his time, and upon this uh, a solution and this formula, we will obtain eternal life and in this way we are making our calling and election sure so again jesus has made an infinite sacrifice in our behalf and he expects far more of his followers than they give him so let us give our best to our lord jesus christ not the good one not the better one but the best he looks for voluntary zealous disinterested effort and cooperation again he gave us the formula what is the formula voluntary willful uh, submission willful obedience obedience that is a fruit of love and then and then we need always to be uh, ready to look for souls for that is what makes our calling and election sure so this is a complete a formula that God has given us. So let us make the most of it. Let us cherish it and let us treasure it, dear brothers and sisters. So this is uh, what God wants us to learn from the, on this day that we need to always be ready. And Jesus Christ is coming very soon. And let us overcome the neglect because this is the neglect of our salvation. And this is very dangerous, especially in this time that the, uh, the enemy is walking double time. So may the good Lord bless each and every one of us, give us power, love, and mercy to overcome. And in the near future, we'll be together in the heavenly course, praising him face to face in Jesus' name. Amen.